Hi everyone, um, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is an update on Philly Bear. He, um, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll obviously know the journey that we've been on over the last couple of weeks. We didn't think about uh, filming a YouTube video because we thought it'd be over by now. We'd be able to do a full update. Excuse you, Milo. Yeah, we thought we'd be able to do a full update by now, um, but his progress continues. So um, it was at the start of May, it was on the 5th. It was bank holiday weekend in May in England. And um, I think it was almost two weeks ago now, or at least two weeks ago, that we noticed that Phil had a um, uh, like a scab on his bum. Um, and originally we thought it was like maybe hemorrhoids or something. Maybe dogs get that. So we didn't really know what it was, but we went straight to the vets. And they said that he had an anal gland infection. And the more the more we post back, the more we realise how common this is. But we've never heard of it before. Um, so he was being treated for an infection. But it took two weeks on antibiotics. And there was no progress being made. It was like an external cyst as well as something internal. Um, and the external cyst had, um, had broke. So then he had a scab as well. And... Um, it was just, it's not pleasant, I, I won't be honest, I won't go into the graphic detail of, of what was going on there. Um, but because the antibiotics weren't treating the infection, and also, Milo wants to be face on camera, um, because when they were looking at him internally, they noticed that something was really, really <laughs> off. Um, his internal glands were what they described as rock solid. And whilst it may be an infection, they don't think that that is necessarily normal. Um, they think that potentially there may be something behind the gland pushing on them, but they can't tell any of that until they operate. And they can't operate until the area is completely infection infectionless. Um, so we're a bit clueless, but the main concern for us at the moment was to clear up his infection. In terms of like himself, he was completely normal. Like he's been fine. When he first went on the antibiotics, he was um he he slumped for I think maybe 24, 48 hours. And then since then he's been his normal self. Everything is fine and he's eating everything, he's going for all the normal walks, he's energetic, he's playful, everything is completely normal. He's unaware of what's going on, I think, with him, either that or we just can't tell. Uh, it doesn't seem to be painful for him when he goes to the toilet or anything. Um, but the vet is quite concerned. So we had some uh, tests done on the area, some swabs, and they were being cultured and grown, and I don't fully understand it, but it took a week or so to find out what the type of infection was. Um, and they think, we, well, we, we think we were told, because we were told over the phone rather than at an appointment, that it's an infection of pneumonia, which makes no sense because it's in his bum. Um, but then we've had... Uh, some advice where we think we might have misheard them and it's called pseudomonas and I might not be pronouncing that correctly we're waiting for a call back from the vets but I'll pop it in the description so if you do want to check it out then have a look there which is what we think it is but we have got the right antibiotics for it now which I've got that everyone's dead curious in um, so these are the antibiotics that he's on now and it's only been three days on these and already we're noticing a big difference in the external wound that we can see Got them all around me um so yes yeah, so we've got this until next thursday which is i'm filming this on a friday night so we've got about six days left on antibiotics and then we go back to the vets and that's when hopefully we'll get the all clear that he is infection free but that's not the end of the journey because once he is infection free we are looking at an operation um to one remove the anal glands i think at, at a minimum that's what we're expecting and two we've been told that there is a possible tumor that is pushing up against them um which was incredibly worrying but they have done um swabs of the area and they've done um they've sent them off and had them tested and they found no cancerous cells so we're really hopeful that it is a very common as it seems anal gland infection and the anal glands being removed dogs don't need anal glands they are just used as scent and marked territory so um we're quite hopeful that it is just that and it will be a very simple operation that we'll be looking at in the next couple of weeks uh, but the first things first is to get him infection free so we just thought we'd update because it's been weeks now and we're still not much further forward um and we'll continue to update you 
But yeah, just in terms of Phil, he is completely fine in himself. I'm sure the operation will change things for a little while, but he's all good. Can I five five? Good boy. Shall we give you our evening medication? Ready? So we have to the big pills. Wait there, sit. Oh, I know you're excited for antibiotics. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. So we have to cover it in, uh, sit down. Peanut butter. Oh. Okay, sit. Oh. All right, sit down. Sit. <laughs> Good boy, ready? Eat it all up. Good boy. He's never had so much peanut butter than he has since he's been on all these different antibiotics. It's the easiest way to get him to eat it straight away without trying to force it down him. Good boy. So yes, that's our update. Um, I appreciate there'll probably be loads of questions on this and concerns. So we will try to reply to every comment. So if you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, and hopefully we'll also do another update after Thursday next week. So in about six days, next weekend, we'll get another update up for where everything's up to with Phil. But these guys are taking good care of him. Yes. Yes. Nico, can I pop? Let's go get you some peanut butter. I'll get you some. <laughs>